What I think we find is that there's never enough money to give the one in three children that grow up in middle field and poverty to keep them in good housing. There's never enough to keep our old folks from choosing between heating and eating. And there's never enough to keep us all in decent housing. There's never enough to give us all a decent wage. But they can always find money for their wars. They can always find money for the MPs' expenses. And they can find 100 billion pounds for nuclear weapons and 8 billion to bail out those same bankers. There's a choice here, folks. We don't have to accept this. We can take the alternative route and we can build a better Scotland. We can scrap the bedroom tax. And we can create a benefit system that treats people with dignity. We can support our most vulnerable people in society and we can assure that everyone has a good quality of life. We can break the Westminster stranglehold on our NHS and we can invest in quality healthcare for everyone the way our NHS was meant to be run. We can also we can abandon austerity and we can embrace equality. We can take the wealth in our economy and give ourselves a decent society, a society that's not just for the rich. For me, independence is no magic wand. But with hard work and determination, we can achieve a great welfare state. We can <coughs> achieve more equality. We can achieve fairer wages, better jobs, higher quality of life for ourselves and for future generations. Scotland is a wealthy country. We can do better. We should do better. And we will do better. But we can't leave it up to the politicians. We have to drive it. We have to achieve it. This is why we're here. We need to take this back. We need to bring politics back to the community, make sure that the community are making the decisions for the community. No somebody that's sitting in Holyrood or Westminster making the decisions telling us what we should get. We need to grasp this. The referendum is engaging people in politics in a way I've never seen this before. Most of us are disengaged and disenfranchised, disenfranchised sorry, from Westminster. I've never voted for the Tories. I'm not sure if any in this room, anyone in this room will have ever voted for the Tories. There's only one of them in Scotland. There's only one Tory MP in Scotland, but they're still the ones that govern us. We're starting towards a normalisation of politics where people are talking about it again and they're realising not only the impact it has on their life, but it's also empowering them to get involved. I mean, this wouldn't have happened two years ago. There's no way we would have had this two years ago. We've got all these people in our room today going to speak about politics. That's amazing. For me, that's really, really good. You can make a difference. Another Scotland is possible. There's lots more I'd like to say, um, but I think that's probably enough for me. It'd be really great to hear from you all. What are your thoughts, what are your aspirations, and what are your concerns over independence? Thank you very much.